Hi. Hey, hi. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Hi. We, uh, let's go. Man. Metroid Prime Remastered. Let's go. First of all, why do I have... Apparently I have extras. What's in the extras menu? Six things unlocked. Biology? Hi. Okay. Oh, this is all the concept art. Okay, well, uh... I, <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're, we are going to start now. Uh, I don't think we should we should have to adjust him. Anything? Control scheme. The only thing we can adjust right now is control scheme. Is that dual stick control scheme. Pointer controls. Though it can have the Wii pointer controls. I I want to learn biology. Yeah. And by by biology they mean concept art apparently. Just concept art for everything in the game for all the creatures in the game. Pointer controls like the Wii. Hybrid it controls, classic controls, the classic game controls. We're gonna we're gonna go with the dual stick controls. All right, let's go. We're gonna go on normal. We're, we ain't no casual. What do I? Why do I look like some? What do I look like a casual to you? Wow, okay. Okay, okay then. <laughs> Unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to derelict space vessel orbiting Talon 4. There's, there's a lot of asteroids. That's a lot of asteroids falling down to the planet. <laughs> Man. Man, that 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 yeah, this looks this looks this is looking great. <laughs> it's a Metroid. Uh sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> Metroid is my favorite character. Does it crawl? That is a very good question that we may never get the answer to. No, the prime is at the the prime is at the end of the game, which is why the credits roll. Oh, my control is already drifting. Yay! Remastered? Maybe. Alright, uh, real quick. How do I... Alright, there, there's a scan visor. Scan the ship. You cannot reach your gunship because there's an energy force field on my own gunship. Why not? Who put this force field in the way? Who put this force field in the way? <laughs> The Metroid did. Rude.
Yeah. What's a Metroid? Maybe that is something we will learn. Oh god damn it, there's more force fields! There's force fields everywhere! Shooting doors is my favorite at pastime. Deck Alpha, emergency evacuation area. Environment unstable. You thought there was a ship with Metroid when you were younger. Ah. React to core, environment normal. Biohazard research, environment normal. Airlock. Airlock. Man, we don't need no we don't need no airlock, right? Who needs air anyways? Who needs air? Biohazard materials. Incredibly large structures surrounding the jaw area. <laughs> Dead space pirate, who has a severed spinal cord, apparently. Yes, that 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 often results in death. Parasite, interstellar vermin. They travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon Four, a single. A parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to tra travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. Laggy Hydra. Well, good luck. Good luck with that. Be escape pods. Es evacuation occurred six hours prior. Acidic burns the body. Die parasites. Oh, he's alive! Thank you, this guy's alive! Weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen on exoskeleton. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, it is really weird that that, that shoots three times before you can fire the charge beam. <laughs> before you can actually charge. That's really weird. Skate pod launched. Hill. Bang, 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 boom. <laughs> yes. Hill section possesses a mouth like orifice, for, most likely used for birthing offspring. Yes, I. Yes, that, that's where babies come out of, right? Your butt mouth? Babies come out of the butt mouth. We easily removed. Blast him! That's biology. How do I... Hey, what's the morph ball button? Oh, that's missiles. Why? Okay. Map station. Okay, now we have map. Two parasite queen specimens have become volatile in deck beta. 
All security per personnel should report to the biotech research area. Parasitic infestation has detect has been detected in the ventilation systems of deck ga decks gamma and beta. Frigate exterior hulls all stable and fully functional. Helen 4 ground zero area secure. Crater radiation readings normal. Elevator online. Elevator. And then sparky, it's a sparky elevator. It's a sparky elevator mechanism. Energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing electricity. Ow, 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 ow. I did not, I did not, I in fact did not use caution. They, they told me and I didn't listen. That's what I get. Esmen cell B. Rejection of phasons uncompound. Rejection cell A in hibernation. There's some um, living space pirates here. Severe internal damage detected. I want to check if these guys are alive. Both legs are broken. Scan the, I gotta scan the health pickups for the logbook. Parasite egg in pupa stage. Tough exoskeleton protects from, from its mother's acidic embryonic fluid. Fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Oops. After mutation, the carapace of the larva becomes rigid. The carapace is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many predators. Combat at mutation of and applications are complete. Primary legs of this its creature possesses galvanized tips, allowing to penetrate any known alloy. And thus is then that is the life cycle of parasite. Ballistic support needed. I got Okay, that's a turret. Oh, I gotta scan it first. Auto turret. Misuse maskles. And I gotta scan the ammo. The ammo pickups too. Hydrate, okay. Ah. Yep. There, there. <laughs> Hydrate, hello Kenza. I'm hydrating. Parasite infused stage one. Cell structure stable. Parasite phase on infusion stage two, inducing mutagen into tank. Complete. Lore. Zebes has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead, either killed by the hunter clad in metal, or the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orpheons, Syriacus, Syriacus, us and Volp. Paragon were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo have, appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain and supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other pr promising life forms. Security use, use status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. 
He's on future in stage three. Stable. This man has been horribly mutated. There are no life readings. He's dead. He's, he's dead. He's on fusion stage four. Cell structure failing. Parasite larva. Parasite larva. Plasmite. I hear a turret. Is that is that that's a turret? That's a turret. Ow. Now give me my missile back. <laughs> Sure. Auto turret malfunction. Oh, oh! Apparently, I could. S oh, I could. Have s right, I could have scanned this terminal, and which would have shut down the turret. Which would have shut down the turret. It's fine. Missiles also. Missiles also work pretty well at shutting down turrets. Xenotropic life form unstable. Specimen cell structure failing. Match is not mid. Min match DNA terminating infusion sequence. Our hazard waste removal may begin in three hours. Phase on radiation re readings must be reported to the deck commander before that batch dis batch disposal. He wants to get out. <laughs> the creature wants to escape, but it can't. Specimens exhibit incredible strength and body mass. Fusion analysis. Increases the acid production of saliva ducts in the paras of parasite larva. Yay. I form pain tolerant tolerance levels at 13% in holding. Alright, elevator operational. Elevator. Oh, hey, look at the space pirate. He's alive. Severe internal damage detected. I mean, not, he's not, not much alive. Wow, that was English right there. Hermetics? He's no longer alive. Mutagen tank one. Oh, look, there's another one. Brain hemorrhage detected. Creature's aim will be hindered. And, and yet he still hit me. <laughs> War wasp. Later, parasite larva. Minimal injuries assessed. Well, he's dead now. Well, he no longer has minimal injuries. He has a lot of injuries. That's in Morbius. It's Morbin time. Harmless parasite larva. Ice shriek bat. Empty. Another one over there. Acid burns have welded the joints of the exoskeleton. Well, <laughs> Put him out of his misery. It's okay. I'll put you out of your misery. I mean, it's not a very, it's not a very pain, not not exactly painless, but it'll put you out of your misery. Okay. Oh man, more more data. Obstruction detected in reactor ventilation system. Ventilation converts may become superheated if airflow air is restricted. Security codes should be changed. What, so we can't do stuff like hack into your turrets? Speaking of turrets. Caused by severe lacerations to abdomen. 
Mm, yes, look at the look at his internal or I, I can see I can see that on his internal organs. Access de deck gamma approved. Now we can look at the quick time logo. Now we can look at the quick time logo. Look. Look at it. Oh, there's a there's there's an alive space pirate. Death caused by removal of internal organs. I see. Oh, this guy's not is not dead. Minimal injuries. Don't you hate it when your internal organs get removed? All right. Hey, please inter insert metallic sphere. Good thing, good thing the morph ball exactly fits the fits the metallic sphere that they need. What what kind of met metallic spheres is are they getting in, in, in for these anyways? What do they normally get for these anyways? Oh god, the door is closing! No, the door! God damn it! God damn it! I took too long. The door closed. I didn't even realize those doors are closed. I I never realized those doors actually closed. Wrong button! I pressed the, oh god, I pressed the wrong button. I am a fool. That caused my acid burn to the face. Death caused by severe lacerations. Subject looks like it has been partially eaten. Death caused by cranial trauma. Please insert metallic sphere. First, here's a save station. Yes, save station place where you can a station that lets you save Man, they really they really made sure to add back the the add, like the butt crack in, in Samus's in, in Samus's suit from the from the other two prime games <laughs> No life signs detected. Large amount of blood missing from the carcasses. Consistency is important. It is. That is true. <laughs> Consistency is very important. Thighs of butt is... It must, must remain consistent. <laughs> Creature. La Creatura. <laughs> wiggly boy, yes. I mean, it's. Or, no, I guess it'd be a Wiggly girl, because the queen. Because <laughs> it's a parasite queen. Yeah, parasite females. It's, it's not a Wiggly boy. It's a Wiggly girl. Parasite Queen. Parasite female. Genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use a new auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Can't indicate the presence of potent, potent muti mutagen. Origins unknown. Creature exhibits the ability to fire weapons-grade blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have been begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Look out! Look out for the the weapons grade, grade uh, beam. Look out! They can fire it through the force field.
It's okay. She's almost. It's okay. She's almost dead. Okay. Look out. And she's dead. <laughs> to it, I did try the parasitic they them. I mean, fair, fair. Yeah. Anyways, it's dead. It's dead. I've got. <laughs> evacuate immediately. Eva evacuate immediately. Evacuate. A creature has fallen into the nuke into the reactor core. That's a good time. To, I mean, that's a good idea. Evacuating after a creature falls into the reactor is a good idea. When the reactor suddenly becomes unstable. Warning, warning. Reactor unstable. Replacement battery required. Auto turret disabled. Look, space pirates. They are no longer space pirates. <laughs> the creature has fallen to the reactor core in Lego City. This creature is deceased. The creature's incubation period was prem prematurely terminated. The shell is not yet fully hardened. I mean, it's generally a problem when the reactor starts exploding. When the reactor becomes explodey. Containment seal breach. Each. Larva's vital signs critical. Well, it is dead. Oh, pew pew. I'm getting pew pewed at. They are pew pewing at me. Well, he's dead. Oh, and let's go this way. This way. This way. We got creatures. La creatura. Got goop all over my face. Goop all over my visor. And it, and it's and it just and it sort of tickles, and it almost tickles, <laughs> and their attacks almost tickle. <laughs> Everything's exploding. This way, follow the follow the ex the, the explodies that reveal a path. Turret. Did a whole one damage. It's just it's just creatures. Just parasites. All those creatures did a whole one damage to me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, big crushy thing. Here we go. Uh, I'm getting turned around. Oh, you gotta follow the big crushy thing. Ow. Excuse me! I got crushy. I got, I got bonk, bonked in the face by a crushy thing. I mean, it's not really a crushy thing. It's not crushing against anything. It's just, it's like a big piston. Oh my god, it's Ridley! Kuso! We got grapple over the water.
Table turrets. No turrets. Ow! Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, electricity. At least you're Metroid. Yes. <laughs> Ah. Ah, god damn it. Damn it, god damn it. Fairy suit malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. Missile malfunction. Charge beam malfunction. Grapple beam malfunction. God damn it. Don't you hate it when, when you get in, knocked into a wall and you lose all your all your items? Room is depressurizing. Happens every day. I know, it's the worst. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, no, this is the right way. Yeah. Go back outside. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I, I, I've always found that that in... Well, the, oh, first of all, the whole ship is exploding. Time to go. <laughs> I just found that uh, that that in, in this default, oh, there's some space pirates flying away, <laughs> flying out into space. Bye bye, space pirates. I always found that like in the default power or suit in this game, like it, like it looks like it looks because you it becomes small. It's like looks a little a little smaller compared to the the, the various suit. And, and but the arm cannon remains the same size, so the arm cannon like looks like comically large <laughs> on the regular power suit. I always found that a bit funny. Plant life, plant, rain. <laughs> Plant life. Disgusting. Plants. Rain. Talon overworld. New extras unlocked in the main menu. Oh boy. Here, let's save. Here we are on Talon Overworld. First of all, we gotta scan the ship. Hunter class gunship. We're just the Samus Aaron. You can re return to your ship to, to, to reload, recharge, and save the game. You can do stuff like reload, recharge, save the game. Is that a Metroid? Yes. I don't mean to actually go into the ship. Now it's time to scan everything. Talon fern. So many ferns. This lichen appears to be giving off low levels of radiation. My favorite radioactive lichens. Beetles. Beetle. Beetles can cover short distances. Saturnine, small iridescent and mushroom. In dank, dark regions. Guides them. Sap sack. Chemical reaction within the sack produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its sweet, it owed its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only the brave or indigenous creatures dare devour it. Oh, it sounds tasty! Yay! Ow. <laughs> Let's eat explosive plants. Last cap. 
Why does everything on this? Why does everything explode? Was worth zoomer. Oh no, there's zoomers here. Gotta watch out! All the are the. Oh no, there's zoomers. They're gonna make. They're, they're gonna uh, post zoomer memes. Pre appears to be healthy. Ring dating approximates age at over 200 years. Ooh, red energy ball. I'm stuck. <laughs> Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. Please. I beg you. Incoming scan data. Normal seismic activity detected. Seismic disturbance at ruin site. Thank you. I, I actually, I, I think I, I might want to turn that off because that's it, it's gonna be real annoying. It's probably gonna get real annoying. History of the Chozo oh, stretches back into ancient times, so far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however. The Chozo who colonized Talon 4 made a conscious choice to eschew a civilization of advanced technology. We, each Chozo, chose to live in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe if that we will we believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our our words from time to time. Okay. Those are ruins. So many beetles. The blast shield. We need explosive. We need explosives. If I see that missile, that missile expansion up there, can't get to it yet though. It's a war wasp hive. War wasps hide in there, only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War wasps build their homes from over existing crevices, using whatever materials are close at hand. They carry fragments back to their construction site with their foreleg and glue them in place with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. Gross. The forcibly intertwined tree. Energy tank. Can't reach it. Scarabs, exploding parasites. Why does every creature ex Why does every creature on this planet explode? Why did, every why did everything evolve to explode? Ion. Psst. Eyes that shoot laser and and where and 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 how did laser eyes get evolved? How did laser eyes on walls get evolved? It's the best event, just exploding. Many long years have passed since we Chozo first took root on this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief that many Chozo sages, of many so, so, of many Chozo sages, that the truths of the universe hide within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for answers there, however, 
we find illumination in each other in other unexpected places. We know and that's how the ability has come to us, but recently many chosen have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with, with the infinite. Perhaps finally, the universe's secrets are be becoming known to us. Or, or maybe it's just the radiation. <laughs> Elevated toxic toxicity levels found in tree bark. Poison water source. Sandstone. I'll say I'm taking all the peyote. Maybe. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, bugs. War wasps. I oh got flies. Get away from me. It's the only translatable symbol on on the sculpture is the word chozo. Yo oh god, bugs. Space bugs. In honor of Talon Star. Electrified organic matter. Or wasp hive. But. Tangleweed. Plant life basic sentience. Brimstone wall. Hey, look. Plasmites. Attracted the sources of heat, thriving on energy present there. Middle light when hunting. Expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Ow! I was gonna leave you alone, but then you you went you, you had to go and hurt me. How dare you! Did I threaten them? I touched them. All I did was was accidentally touch them. Managed it possesses traces of high level toxins. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> Life forms detected in the hollows of the machine. It ate my item. How dare the machine. Hive Mecca. Security unit programmed to work with predatory hive dwellers. A design flaw makes the shielding of the, on the Hive Mecca weak around the access ports. These units are second generation combat drones, able to interface with organic units at a higher level. They train, shelter, and work with hive dwelling predators. Unarmed, they rely on their hive hive beasts to handle any threats. Ram War Wasp. Evolve a tr War Wasps are the only species in town that evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark, dark places. Ram War Wasps emerge. Circle the enemies at high speeds, disorienting it. Striking from all sides as, as a single intelligence. They can infell huge organisms. Bin. A spin. Phew.
Oh god. Ugh. They're flying all around. Yeah. They're disorienting me. It's like I, it, it, that's exactly what the what the logbook said they they did they did. I'm just watching my radar. They're spinning all around. Hey, rule three. The logbook never lies. It 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 really doesn't. <laughs> Got it. So launcher. Maskles. Now we have missiles. Missile. 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 Missile launcher acquired. Press R to fire. No, it's just not no no nukes, just regular missiles. Energy tank. Ooh, big missiles. Okay, now now we, we head back. Oh, convenient bridge! It dropped for us. How nice. Now we can just blast the hives, cause screw you. Screw your hives. The toxicity of this levels of this water are very high. The water is so toxic. Mes missiles. I didn't scan the missile expansion, but it's fine. I think there there'll be more. Map station. Map. Now we have map. Can just ignore the scarabs. I'm just gonna blast, blast the hives with with missiles. So I don't have to deal with them. And here's a save station. Save. Uh. Actually, wait. It's a sandstone, right? Yeah, we can't end blow up sandstone yet. So we'll have to come back for that. Shut up, phone. I really should put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Cause it, uh, <laughs> it just the, the, my phone stand just amplifies all the vibrations from my phone. <laughs> Beetles. I don't have a pickaxe. I only have missiles. We can use We can use guns to mine, right? That's the that's the American way.
Morph Ball. Blue orbs are simple light sources. Why there's always things that are trying to stop me from grabbing my items. I want I just want my items, man. I just want my loot. Give me my loot. Loot, loot, loot. Give me loot. There's an, oh no, now there's an armored bug. Big beetle. Plated beetle. Vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. And it's dead. It is dead. I have killed it. Oh, that's Morph Ball. Does this mean Metroid can crawl now? Now we have, now we have a bomb. Now we, no, sorry, no, now we have ball, not bomb. We don't have bomb yet. We only have ball. We'll blast these hives first though. Ruined hive. The destruction of the hive will not deter survivors from rebuilding a new home. I'm just gonna roll past all of them. Rolling, rolling. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We chose have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. That's all peas. <laughs> However, it is already impossible to, to collect all the pieces of, of the great poison as it has already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Don't touch toxic water. It hurts. Not, it's not good for... Don't touch toxic water. It's not good for swimming. You really do not want to swim in, in toxic water.
Oh god, Shriek Bats. Territorial Ceiling Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. Shriek Bats have a high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. More, more creatures that explode. Yay. Got tentacles. Reaper vines. His vision is limited to 10 meters. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, poison water. Poison water, not good for swimming. Don't do not swim in poison water. Also beware of, t of tentacles. Path of corruption leads even higher. Ah, explosive, expl exploding mushroom. Everything, ex everything just explodes. It's exploding mushrooms. Exploding mushrooms. Exploding bugs. Truth awaits you in a sacred hall. First of all, missile. More shriek bats. Runic symbol has been activated. There's number two. One more. Where's the one more? There's one more. I don't. I, I, for some reason, I do not remember. Oh, I think. I think. I actually wait. No, I remember. I remember where it is. It's over here. Yeah, it's over here on, on this wall. Yay! Now the gate opens. Charge beam. Disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague, dark foreboding, and it became truth. A meteor appeared out of nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the, violent, with the violence of its impact. Its destructive force spent. The fallen star burned itself out rapidly, and the incident, incident should have faded into memory. But the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land. A strange energy that clawed at natural life with a ferocity. Strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to encompass Talon 4 in a night as a spider weaves a web. Okay. <laughs> Charge beam. Charge a beamer. Now, now we get to shoot three shots at, and then charge. Yay!
Yay. Now we need to head back while not while trying not to swim in, in the poison water. Watch out for all the, the the bats on the walls. All the, all the bats on the walls, on the ceilings, I mean. And all the exploding mushrooms. Luminescent cylinder is functioning at 80%. Sandstone wall. We still do not have a pickaxe. We still don't have a pickaxe, so we can't mine it. More shriek bats. Sandstone unblocked. So much sandstone everywhere. Lock system engaged. Secure the area to, to unlock door. Stone toad. Preys on creatures smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. Anything it finds indigestible, it regurgitates. You unlock 25 of the logbook, yay! Look at this creature. This frog. Pretends to be that pretends to be a rock. Look at this thing. He blink. He do blink. Oh god, it's got flamethrowers. <laughs> Incinerator drone. Programmed for high temperature waste disposal. The device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. The unit has minimal combat programming, but can defend itself as necessary. Drones and Titan's heat blast compensate for its lack of battle prowess. Flamethrowers. A different kind of 
a war wasp. Barbed war wasp. It can launch stingers. It's highly aggressive. It can launch onto its stinger 20 meters. And it regrow and it. How nice of these bugs to... To, to, to make their hot... To, to put their nest above a fire. Ab above a flamethrower machine. A machine that has a flamethrower. Ow. Fire. Fire hurts. It's warm. Yeah, fire is very warm. And for some reason, it ha it had bombs. In it had bomb inside. For some reason, some for some reason, a flamethrower machine had bomb had bomb inside. Boom. Boom. Yay. Me boom. For some reason, the jump on in the morph ball is X, while the regular jump is B. Oh god! I don't know why. But yeah, for some reason, it, it in yeah, the morph ball jump is X, but the regular jump is B. I don't understand. I don't. I really don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, here have bomb frog, die, die frog. Morph ball slot. Bomb inside. Puzzle music and a timed and and now there's now, now it's a, and there's now the sounds indicating that it's a time section. Oh no, time sections! And all these lifting, all these lifting devices really need to be like some oil to be oiled or something. They're always so sparky. Like they haven't been serviced in a while or something. I mean, this everything has been kind of just sitting around for like fifty years. Everything in here has probably been sitting around for like 50 years, so actually it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Machines do tend to fall into disrepair if you leave them for 50 years. Machine is now fully operational. Yay. Now we can move on. All the machines are for the operational. Incredible track we can't use yet.
Give, give me energy tank. Yay. Okay. Now we gotta head all the way back. <laughs> because, because we are done here. We, we are, that's all we can do here right now. Now and now that we have bomb, we can we can break sandstone. Cause we don't cause we don't use pickaxes to, to mine sandstone, we use TNT. That's the best way to mine sandstone, clearly. With TNT. I don't remember, can we actually get up here now or do we, I don't know if we can, I don't think we can and get up here yet, we need, I think we need, uh, yeah, we're gonna need the, uh, we're gonna need, uh, need the space jump, because we're too short. Alright, let's head back. We, we don't need to save. We'll be fine. Who needs to save? Tentacles. Go away, tentacles. Now we gotta activate all the runic symbols. Fox and those have rotted all the leaves, apparently. Oh, there's one. I failed to notice the war wasp hive. Ow! Stupid bugs. I was too busy looking around for the for the runes. For all the symbols, I didn't notice the bugs. I always watch for wasps, I mean true. Oh, what? Where'd you come from? Four of them? Venom weed. Poisonous plant that retracts to the ground if threatened. Venom weeds evolve to thrive in the habitats of large organisms. They lure prey with brightly colored leaves. Venom weeds. Like. They don't even shoot at you. They're apparently really sensitive to gunfire. I mean, a lot of things are sensitive to gunfire. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I fell. As I'll say, a lot of, I mean, things, yes, a lot of things are sensitive to gunfire. Gunfire definitely hurts. <laughs> The venom weed's gonna wake up from a nine-year coma and and then and let the legend come back to life. There's the last one. There's sandstone. And and, and a, a blast shield. Make sure you have all the upgrade. Gotta make sure you have all the upgrades before, before you come in here.
And there's tentacles everywhere. Make sure you're stocked up. And here we go. Plant! Now we have to fight plant. Plant boss fight. Plant. Oh, let me scan you. Lagra. I get skull face. Yeah, it says it. Why does it a, why does a plant have a skull face? This mutant plant is the source of toxic water in the ruins. Blagra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to sun to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made Flagra's outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable, however. Exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapons fire can daze it for short periods. And can scan its tentacles too. Fills this, this narrow drainage channel. The central nervous system is located at the base. Ow. Ow. Mirror or used to focus sunlight. Some nice music though. It he does have it does have some nice music though. Boom. Boom. More sunlight. Who's controlling the sun? These sunlight mirrors, anyways. If it's could. Oh, excuse me. R excuse me. Rude. I just put that up. I just turned that off. Excuse you. And it's down. No more sunlight for you. And now, boom. Like how it just shrinks. Like every time you damage it, it just shrinks. <laughs> and then it grows again. And when it gets the sunlight back. Zoom. Zoom to the next mirror. Oh god, I, I, wrong mirror. Oh god, it's all the way on the other side. God damn it. Cut down. Oh god, look out. One left. This one, this boss fall. This doesn't. doesn't, doesn't Instead, it didn't want to, decided it didn't want to follow the rule of threes. Instead, it has four phases, which are all the same. It's just less. It's it's, it's all the same. It's just more mirrors. There's more mirrors you gotta turn off. go. Last one. Ow. I got touched before I went inside. And now it's dead. Yay, we killed a plant. 
Yay, we murdered a plant. Yay! Oh, now, now it's spitting out water. For plant. And it, magically the water becomes instantly clean. Not sure how that works. <laughs> How the water is clean. How, how the water instantly become clean after we killed it. Very suit. Loading. Yay! Now we have big shoulders back. Air suit acquired. Dangerous areas of heat are now accessible. Yay! Now we have big shoulders again. My favorite. Toxin scans negative. Water is free of poison. Yay, no more poison. We can go swim. Now we can swim. Sort of. Sort of, we just sink to the bottom because, because we're it's like it's because like we're wearing heavy power armor. Ultra energy restores hundred energy. Pulse bamboo. How's Bomba? Your energy beings are invulnerable to most weapons. They can be harmed by electrical energy. Excuse me. Excuse me, creature. Whee! Ah, my legs! My legs! Cordite. That's an explosive. <laughs> That's an explosive. Cordite in real life is an explosive. <laughs> Oculus. The Oculus Rift? It can't be. The Oculus Rift. Cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we as we Chozo watch the great poison seep even further into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. Once such beast defi defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, placing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we Chozo do not uh, turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it is our duty to contain it. It's okay, I killed the plant for you guys. You're welcome. We elevated to Magmore Caverns. But first, I want to go this way. Because item. Let's just loot this way.
Well, well, there's two items actually. Mechanisms. Ooh. Lore. More lore. The future is a vague thing, ever changing and always in doubt. Even if we Chozo could, ch could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come when its water dries up, and there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this. Unlike the uncertain flow of water, we, we, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. Until it does. The will of the Chozo will never run dry until it does. <laughs> Alright, one more. And the vault opens. Now we have more missiles. Yay. So expansion. Beetle. Touch, touch the energy tank. And not fall down because I don't want to fall down. I want to stay up here. Although. We could maybe. E, e fall down and go all the way around just. Controls. Ah, map controls. Uh, right stick to move the map. Grab a couple items. Actually, you know what? Let, let, let's actually fall down so we can grab those items. Yeah, let's actually fall down so we, because I want to grab those items. This way. Missed. God damn it. <laughs> I missed. Fired and I missed. I think so. Live? Damn it. <laughs> I'm firing and I'm missing. I, I need a popsicle. <laughs> I think I need a popsicle. Because I keep firing and missing. I, I, definitely, I definitely should get a popsicle. Break back. Here, get, get another missile tank. All the missiles.
And through here. Through here, because this oh, is basically a shortcut back. This is conveniently a shortcut back to the Magmore Cabin's elevator. Ha, ah, caught, caught it. And elevator. We ah, my legs. My bone dust ankles. More freak bats. Save. No, wait, I want to scan them. Frisbee. Burrower. You can see why it's called that. It burrows. Ow. And it spits at you when it unburrows. Puffer noises. Hmm, <laughs> puffer noises. Magmore. That, that's, that's what the caverns are named after. Just the name of the caverns. Lava hot. Yes, lava is very hot. Magmores prefer extreme heat zones. They're blind. They navigate lava with sonar receptors. And they spit fire. And now they're dead. Stinky creatures that explode and and that explode and spit out poison gas. Yay! More exploding creatures. Oh, there's an, there's another a fire or spitter. It's another Magmore. Hmm, look at the lava. The lava actually looks the lava looks like kinda of, actually looks kinda of like soup. I guess regular lava also looks kinda of looks like soup. Hmm. Hmm. Bubbly jiggly soup. Triclops.
These guys are a little annoying to deal with. You gotta make them eat. You gotta make if they catch your bomb. If they catch you, they will they will move you somewhere else and spit you out, which is annoying. You gotta what to, do, to kill them? You gotta make them catch your bombs instead. You gotta make them catch bomb. Like that, boom. Eat bomb here. Have eat bomb. Yes, bomb go boom. I always like this con like like how the it how like in hot places that's hot places you'll get you'll sometimes get condensation on the visor that's always a cool effect I would like this co that cool effect ow stinky poison gas it hurts Triclops. Eat bomb. Oh god, it got me. It got me. It'll carry you around and spit you out. It even decides sometimes they decide to carry you all the way back to the start, which is real which which is the most annoying thing which is the most annoying thing they can do. Die. Now we, now we go all the way back. Yay. I already killed all the Triclops. So I don't have to worry about them. Oh god, I fell. Oh jeez, that's lava. Damn it. God damn it, why did... God damn it, now I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> Uno is scream. Uno! Mer? Is he... Is he starving? Is it food time? Hurts.
or any signs of magma predator activity. Merlin pistons are leeching power from the magma pools. Geothermal power source is promising. Geothermal power uh, routing, routing to the station is complete. Unstable magma flow is a concern. Local crystal formations possess low phase on residue. They have high value to the monks of Grondheim, however. We can process the crystal for that market at once. Once phase on un, un processed operations are finished. Okay. Try to grab item. Oh god, wrong button. Easy. So much easier. It's so much easier when you actually have have. That's so much easier once you actually have when you if you actually you have the morph ball jump. And now we're out of here. Ice. Now we're in, in the frozen wasteland. That's a pretty. It's a pretty frozen wasteland. At least, I guess it's not exactly a wasteland. It's just frozen. Ice. It's just ice area. No, pretty snowy area. And this area is this, this area is always so pretty. Flicker bat. They have optical camouflage, but I can see them. Anyways, they're they're not they're they're harmless. Crystal light. Door booth has been unlocked. Yay. Gas based propulsion system. What is but what's fueling it? How long has it been floating? It's a floating platform. How long has it been floating? Ice. Save room. New personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure report will be penalized with a 30% ration cut and extra duty. Western Temple is in phase two lockdown. All projects are postponed. All ballistic support re report or to research lab Hydra. Hydra. Yes. Yes, Hydra. Scatter Bombu. It will be harmed by electrical energy. Use Morph Ball, roll under them. Ow. I still got touched. 
And it'll be, it's fine. <laughs> Baby Shiga. It has it has a weak butt. Is dead. We murdered the babies. We have murdered the babies. More ice. More ice, ice that we need, uh, that we need imbeciles. That we start with, that we need heat for. Ice burrowers. They're like they're like regular burrowers, but they're ice. Yeah, there's so many. So many of these, these, pul these pulse, pulse bombos. More babies to murder. Touch your the face. Ow. Just threw an ice, a block of ice at me. Oh god, I'm frozen. Sand go. Uh, we're the, we're not we're, we've left the sand area. Now we're in the ice area, and we can now. But we can and break sandstone now. With we can break sandstone now with by using TNT. By using bomb. That's the best way to break sandstone. Clearly, as the great poison reaches ever further into the planet, we chose to begin to feel the gnawings of despair before it is too late. We now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain this darkness. At this, at its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by 12 artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple and the cipher itself prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life? Okay, now you can. It's okay. Now, now you can and eat snow instead. Just don't. You should be careful not to eat the yellow snow. So many creatures suffer beneath the blight I brought upon the blight upon the land. 
We Chozo and We Chozo are no exception. For all of our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish the darkness we've contained. Even so, our vigilance will, con will forever remain. We, we believe that, that on some far off day, a savior will come and continue what we have begun. For that savior, we will leave our ancient weapons and armor. The soul who can and, and gather them will be the entrusted one. The only being who can reverse the evil that grows here. Propulsion units used to make the platforms float are insufficient to support the full power suit weight indefinitely. Samus is too heavy. Boost ball. We can boost. We can boost on this convenient half pipe that the ice has formed into. This fish appears to be frozen under a, a, a sheet of extremely smooth ice. Convenient. How convenient uh, uh, that there's this extremely smooth, smooth half pipe of ice here. Creatures. Bergen. Ridley. Durgan. There he goes. Okay, now we gotta head all the way back to the Talon Overworld. Yay. Yay, backtracking.
Okay, where do we need to go? Uh, that way. We need to go that way. Ow. 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 Turrets hurt. They're zappy turrets. Stupid triclops. Let me on. Eh, let me up. Please. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sure. Fire. Fire hurts. Fallen, yes. Sure, if you want, I guess. I would not recommend it. It's pretty spicy. No, not supposed to be. Blood flower, able to eject toxic spores. It's poisonous even to the blood flower itself.
Oh god damn it, I'm failing in the half pipe. I'm failing the boosts. There we go. There we go. Sandstone. Let's blow it up. Red Star Burst. Sort of a delicacy in many territories. Face jump boots. Yay. We got the boots. Now we can now we can double jump. Before we, we go back to the ship and save, let's uh, go this way. And let's go check out, out the impact crater. Hmm, look at this, mm, look at this radioact, glowing blue radioactive lichen. Seedling. Plant that shoots thorns at you. Impact crater. Pirate data. Field team reports are, are in on an age structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show that this show this structure projects projects a containment field. This field bars access to a prime source source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes if the field is powered by a number of strange chosen artifacts. We have begun to found some of these. We have found some of these relics, and studies on them have begun. As this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon Four, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. Throughout a living nightmare, as we battle with this unyielding darkness, we chose to see a light. This light gr glows with promise, casting, in chasing the shadows cast by the great poison and purifying that which has grown toxic. It is strange, though. At times, it looks to our eyes as if the light coalesces into the into the figure of a woman. A w w woman? A, a woman? W woman? Oh my God! Woman? <laughs> A woman! Burning brightly, the luminescence descends from space, then retreats back into the, the infinite blackness from whence it came. When this prophecy comes to pass, thus the light uh, when the light recedes, the Chozo's long vigilance of containment will finally come to an end. Containment of the Great Poison. This task has fallen to the Chozo, and we will not flee from our duty, even as we suffer with the land and its creatures. We will pour our, our will into the Twelve, the artifacts which form the lock that holds the great evil at bay in the depths of the planet. 
This lock must stand up, end up to all who might come to assault it. To preserve the power of this from the, of the seal. To protect it, it from those who would, would meddle f for their own designs. We will spread the artifacts across the land, hiding them from prying eyes. The locked lock must never be must never open until the day comes when this disaster can finally be put right. Okay. Total artifact. Collect it and scan the totems for clues. Together, they, the artifacts will open the, something to the crater. Those are artifact acquired. This is the artifact of truth, the first of twelve. Glowy, glowy birds, glowy bird heads. Sun chamber, er, sun chamber. A sun chamber high atop uh, up our ruined home became the nest of a great beast and the source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to this tainted place, released their bond to the world to claim the artifact of wild. The heat of Magmor or was a test for many warriors. A shrine in their honor holds the artifact of strength. Invaders have claimed Fendrana as their own. A tower sits ap atop the fortress. Collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Elder is held. There is a tower within the ruins where light always shines. Move through the waters there to find the artifact of Life Giver. Within the ruins of our home, we honor our fallen warriors in a great hall. A chamber beneath the statue holds the artifact of the world. Of Zawarudo? In one of Talon's far corners, a grove of life lies. Reveal the pillar beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chozo. Hall Caves stands at Fendrana's edge. Seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. And that's all we can scan for now. All the rest we have to come back later, I guess. And look at the rain effects though, it's pretty. The rain effect is pretty. The, the rain falling on the visor and even on the arm cannon, wow. That is nice. That is a nice rain effect. Rain falling on the visor and on the arm cannon, that is... Wow, that's, that's nice effects. Oh, moving on. Okay, now we gotta head back head back to Fendrana Drifts. So yeah. 
They came here for one upgrade and to just and, and to scan a few things and now we're heading all the way back. Make sure you murder a plant. Make sure you murder a plant while you're at it. We. To make more caverns. Ow. Rude. Ow, 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 fire and lava hurts. Ow. Lava is hot. Yes, lava is hot. Speaking of, of hot lava, I'm just going to wade right through it. Ow. Yeah, we can, if we want, we can jump up there now and I think grab one of the artifacts. But no, honestly, it's not really a much point climbing up, jumping up here to grab it now, because it's not, it's not like we can do anything with it yet anyways. Oh, there's a couple things we can scan. Standard spinner. Use boost ball. Yeah, up there is, uh... Up there goes in there. Up there goes towards the artifact. Goes towards one of the artifacts. But we're not gonna worry about it right now. Why can't we just like break the ice, man? Okay, I I'm gonna save here and I think I'll probably end it here for today. I will, 
that's okay. Before we end it real quick, let me check. Let's uh, open the menu and look at can look at, at at how this how how the how the samus's how samus looks. Hmm, metal shiny. It's very it's very matte, but yeah. Hmm, reflective, reflective. Uh, let's see. What, can, what options do we have? I how the controls are different and and FPS controls. I got a control. Hmm. Okay. So what do the hybrid controls look like? There are gyro controls. Yeah, there. You can use gyro controls if you want. Actually, let's let's try out the the gyro controls. Let's give the gyro controls a shot. Actually, before we, before we end the stream, I'm also gonna turn off the hint system because I don't like it. Narration. There's narration? Huh. Oh. Oh right, there was narrate oh right, I think I remember there was narration for the for the PAL for the E for the European and uh, and Japanese versions. But not in the original NA version. Fail to calibrate? What do you mean fail to calibrate? What do you mean fail to calibrate? How do I, how do I re reset it? How do I recalibrate it? Was it? Uh, how do I reset gyros? R, R and Z R. Why? <laughs> Why R and? <laughs> Wait, I see. You mean even if you're using pointer controls, you can't? I guess it's more. Sim it's supposed to be similar to the Wii controls, huh? It's yeah, it's not exactly ideal with the Pro controller. It'll be more. I guess it'll be more ideal if you're using the split Joy Cons. It'll be more ideal if you're using split Joy Cons, I guess. And you can even use the classic controls, the classic GameCube controls. I don't really want the classic game controls. I will stick with this. Anyways, I am... Okay, anyways, I, I'm going to end the stream for now.
yeah, I'm going to end the stream for today. Thank you guys for coming out. I will continue this on Friday. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out today. I will see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye stream. <laughs>